is up, PTU crew? Welcome back to the channel. This is your host, Pika Papa, and you are watching Pokemon TV Unlimited. If you like this kind of opening content, you like market analysis on Pokemon and other TCGs, this is the place to be. Go ahead and punch that subscribe button, hit the like button, and stay tuned as we op open the Morpeko V Union Premium Playmat Collection. That's a mouthful. I just call it the Marnie Collection Box because that's what's gonna be really driving this product. A little irritated about this product because it's way better than the other Morpeko V Union that they made just about six or seven months ago um, that the market completely rejected. I actually bought four, five, six of them thinking, hey, these are gonna be a good item to hold on to. People, it's really cute. Morpeko looks good. V unions are popular, yada, yada, yada. Market totally rejected it. Um, you can still find that box on super discount. Um, I ended up cannibalizing them for more space reasons. I believe in the long term, it'll actually be okay to open or to hold on for a sealed collection slash investment. But it was just taking up too much space, so I cannibalized it, kept the V unions and sold the packs. Or kept like, you know, completed art sets and whatnot. Put them to use, we'll say. And I'm really hoping, Pika Mama thinks it's gonna be full size. Lately, Pokemon have been coming out with these play mats that are shorter and not full size, which I just find ridiculous. Especially, I got it here in my palm right here. Especially in that Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. You know, it's ultra premium, it should've been full size. And we have a nice, beautiful, full size play mat. Pika Mama was right. Thank God, I was gonna, I was hoping. I was gonna be mad. This actually seems really nice and thick and ooh, really high quality. Look at that. That's just awesome. Look at the look, a little more Pico space. It's almost in hangry mode. It's really heavy and thick. It's actually probably one of the better play mats I've seen them do. Got that awesome crown zenith. That is actually really sick. I'm super stoked about that. Okay, check one. I knew this was gonna be a good product. Little on the expensive side. I actually bought it for retail. I know I could probably get it cheaper later down the line from the place I buy from online, but I bought it retail for $45. Um, but with the play mat, usually those things go for about 20 bucks, $5 a pack. There's your $45. You get the Professor Burnett, which has been climbing up, um, but definitely using the meta. Get it right here. And you get the, uh, the V Union, the more Pico V Union with that. Awesome Marnie art on it. There's some of the individual cards. We'll look at the jumbo that gives us, uh, there's the Professor Burnett. Burnett. Um, you kind of need that to get the V in and out. Here is the code card for you guys. Boom, get that out of the way. These are the individual V unions. There should be a whole price on the, put those nice here to the side. We'll sleeve those in a little sex sack. But basically, this is what it's gonna look like. Let me get this out without, let's get the packs out. Five packs. Get that out without damaging it. That's basically what it's gonna look like. Super cool. Looks like they're in some kind of battle arena like in the movie. You get the little gate back here. More Picos in the attack mode. Marnie's wearing her little jean jacket. Black jean jacket. Leather jacket, excuse me. Black leather. Shuffle those up. Okay. We got my buddy Pikachu here. Hopefully we can, I'm down for another Pikachu secret rare. I just opened up an ETB and I got the, uh, another Mewtwo, which I believe we did pull on the channel. The first one, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. There's the code card. Um, I'm not gonna hold my breath. The pull rates out of these collection boxes haven't been super strong, but let's hope. We would love gold, um, anything silver bordered from the trainer gallery, the Galarian gallery. Here we go, let's go water. Pika Mama? Um, lightning. Lightning for Pika Mama. Water, we're starting off strong. Rescue Carrier, Slazzle, Carvine, Baltoy, Meowth, Galarian style, a Wilmer. Got another Will to compete with their Shinx. Ponyard in the clay. We got an Executor and a Tauros. As you can see, I'm not a, well, we missed on the first pack. So the collection boxes haven't been super nice to me. Let's 
Scarlet and Violet really hasn't been super nice to me. I haven't opened a whole lot. I don't think the blister packs are very good pull rate, so we'll see. Let's go Psychic. Darkness. I get a half a point because it's close. Matag. Digging Duo. Graveler. Hippopotile. Woo! Just doing a little roll around. Shinx looking cute. Pan Cham looking devious. Snow Runt shivering. Oh, Mareep. Galarian Gallery. There we go. Looking so happy and cute. Can we get a double bang? We kind of do. The Nessa Hollow Signature. Not a bad little pack. This definitely kind of reminds me. It's like a um, if Shining Fates and uh, Hidden Fates had a baby, it'd be crowned. Because it feels like, you know, the Galarian Gallery is kind of like that baby shiny chase. And then we got the 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 full shinies are like the the silver bordered cards kind of has that feel to me let's go i'm going to go fighting mama says leaf steel pokemon catcher perchin rare candy ponyard tangela he just wants a raspberry vault toy another meow took two Who's behind him? Oh, another one more. That was like the same order. They're cheating us. Friends of Sanoa and a Luxray. Regular rare. Let's do it like that, I guess. Two more packs to go. I basically bought it 90% for the playmat. I love that. I love the jumbos too. So that jumbo is pretty cool. I wonder what kind of effect it's gonna have on the meta. Are people gonna be running more Pico V and his V-Star card? Are people gonna be running more Pico, more Peco, V-Union, Hangry style? Shinx, Larvesta, Oddish, Seal, Potion, heal that, heal that Pokemon. There we go, Deancey, shining like a diamond. That looks good. I like that DNC Galarian Gallery. Can we get the double bang? Aranguru with his little uh, sage. All right, last pack. Two regular Galarian Galleries. Can we finish off his style? I love maybe a textured energy would be nice. Something for Pika Papa to be happy about. A silver bordered Galarian Gallery card. Actually, it'll be here. Let's, let's let's flip it to the back. Let's go like that. Let's do it extra style. Um, I'm gonna go lightning because I'm looking at Zero Aura, Psychic, which neither of us are. Giraffering, Paladrome in the house, Energy Switch, Krokorok, Wilmer again in every pack, Pokeball, Corpish. At least he was in a different spot. Oddish because that would have been odd. Seal. Three, we got a live two, card. Is that, oh, one. that's the rare. This is our chance. Oh, Starly, is that it? Oh, that's it. Boo goo. <laughs> uh, two uh, Galarian Gallery catches, I guess, in five packs. I was hoping for a little fire. Didn't really have that. We do have this awesome jumbo slash V Union. The really the quality on the jumbos are really good. I mean, look at that centering. Look at that perfect centering. Like, look at the little edges. Like, why can't they make the smaller cards like this? They made the packs for Scarlet and Violet a better pack quality. They should have focused a little more on the cards. You know, the cards, the ones that we collect, we don't collect the packs. We do if they're full, but we don't collect them if they're empty. Well, whatever. This is Pika Papa saying you gotta catch them all. Remember to like and subscribe before you say bye. Bye.